what's up guys let's continue with the general mole balance equation once we gave this rate of reaction introduction but now it's time to perform a mole balance and as you remember in mass balance we can do balances on moles here so the first thing we're going to do is to specify the boundary of the system as we've done with mass balance you always choose either one equipment or set of equipments or the plant or the pipeline or with the recycle with no recycle whatever so you should know how to do that now after that we need to specify the species in which we are going to do the mass balance for example the, when we do the mass balance over oxygen or mass balance over uh, the methanol in this case we're going to use a generic J species so I got this I got my beautiful system here the boundaries I got this concept which is G generation we're going to see that in the next video we're going to explain that but for the moment just know that G is essentially production minus consumption so if you're having more consumption you're going to have a negative generation if you're having more production you're going to have a positive generation which makes sense if you got a positive generation means you are generating material you have a negative generation means that you are a disappearing material now the inlet will be the flow of J at initial conditions the outlet will be the flow of J going out so not always this is the case actually if you're reacting this will never be the case because the flows will change so let's continue with this this is the same drawing our system with the inlet outlet and generation concept here so let's do a mass balance on species J it will be the inlet minus the outlet plus the production minus the consumption gives you the accumulation terms that's from mass balance equation hopefully you remember that uh, if you do not remember that go to the mass balance course I explain it there how do you get this equation but essentially is by common sense the inlet minus the outlet plus the production minus the consumption should give you the accumulation of the system so since in chemical engineering reactions or reactor engineering we use this generation concept a lot I'm going to substitute that here so remember this equation goes here and gets here generation now remember that the accumulation is actually the change of moles in time so why not do it the derivative of moles of j with respect of time you got it here so we're changing just this part here and as you can see we got for this special system all the inlets here all the outlets go here all the generation in the system is here and the accumulation well you cannot see it but you can get the accumulation by adding those so this is our first master equation for any system, any reactor, and yeah, I don't rem uh, don't memorize it because we're going to change it a little bit more. But this is the general mole balance equation. So if you get or you understand this, uh, you're in a good way. So just to let you know, this is moles per unit time. So this is mole per unit time minus moles going out per unit time minus moles being either generated or disappearing uh, per the unit time and this as you can see this is moles per unit time so the whole equation has the mole per unit time concept so in the next video we're going to analyze more that concept of generation so we are going to change it but yeah that comes in the next uh, video see you in the next video guys What's up guys, it's me, Chemical Engineering Guy, so if you like the video, why not push the like button? It really helps me to know if you're liking the videos or if I should be changing something or if I should be adding something, taking out content, whatever. Also, sharing is caring, so if you got any kind of friends, teachers, colleagues or whatever kind of person that might be interested in this type of content, why not share it? Sharing helps our community to grow faster in members and in content. 
If you want to keep track of my activity, videos, uploads, experiments, playlists, whatever content I'm getting on YouTube, be sure to click the subscribe button. Subscribing to the channel is totally free, guys. My dream is to create an online academy of chemical engineering where everyone can access it in the world. Imagine a place in which the student, the teacher and the engineer get the best of each other. So thank you, thank you, thank you guys for the support and the love.